Discipline equals freedom. It's not just a name of my home Wi-Fi network, but it is also something that I live by every day. It is a quote by ex-Navy SEAL Jocko Willing and also a title of the book that he wrote, Discipline equals freedom, field manual. And in this video, I'm gonna share a few real life examples of how I apply this principle in my daily life. So the first example is sleep. Waking up early is difficult on its own, but if you don't have a discipline to go to sleep at the right time the day before, then you won't have freedom to wake up at the time that you wanted to wake up and you won't have a freedom to do the things that you planned for the next day. So this is what is happening on the micro level, on a day-to-day -day basis. But let's zoom out as well. Because if you change your perspective, having the right sleep schedule every day will actually affect how you feel from a long-term perspective. And this is the pattern that you will start recognizing with my next examples as well. I will always tell you, you know, what is happening on a day-to-day -day basis and what is happening from a long-term perspective, basically throughout your entire life. Another example would be my diet. I have a type 1 diabetes, so to keep my blood sugar levels in check, I need to be disciplined enough to eat properly and exercise very regularly. So on the micro level, I need to be disciplined enough to say no to the donut, to the junk food, which was very difficult during Christmas. Because if I do that, then on a macro level, I will be free of the health complications that most people with diabetes actually have. So that's how my daily actions are influencing my future self. My next example is exercise. Earlier this year, I needed to travel to Prague at 5 a.m. in the morning and I knew that I won't have time to fit in my training run there after I finished traveling. Also, I didn't want to take my running shoes because I wanted to spend a lot of time with my girlfriend. So what I needed to do is that I needed to set my alarm for 3.15 a.m. in the morning, go for a quick run, go back, take a shower, eat something small and then catch a train at 5 a.m. Now, obviously, this is not something that I should be doing every day, but what it allowed me to do on that day is that I was fully present with my girlfriend. I wasn't thinking about the training that I skipped and I had a really good time. Now, if you change your perspective and zoom out again, I personally believe that if I exercise today, it will give me the freedom in the future to be running around with my grandchildren, with my children, and I will just have a freedom to do whatever I want for a very long time. So this one thing that I did on that day actually helped me to get closer to that freedom in the future. All right, the next example is work. So I usually plan my days the day before or in the morning. And if I have the discipline to finish everything from my list, then I will have the freedom in the afternoon because I won't be thinking about what I still need to finish. And from a macro perspective, if I keep executing my plan day in, day out for months or years, then I will have the financial freedom in the future. And this relates to personal finance as well. I see so many people around me who, once they start making a little bit more money, they're not disciplined enough about keeping their expenses under control and they will start proportionally increasing their expenses and buying the things that they don't actually need just to show them on social media. Because they're not disciplined, they're losing freedom in the future because they now just need to sustain the lifestyle they artificially created for themselves. And the solution is actually quite simple. You need to be disciplined about how much money you spend. And the way I solve it is that no matter how much money I make, I just send myself the same salary every month. And if I want to make some extra purchase, I can. But I'm not proportionally increasing my expenses based on how much money I make because I know it would be costing me freedom in the long term. Now to my last example, relationships. And I was thinking if I should share this because it is quite personal. But what my girlfriend and I do on a regular basis is what we call a relationship check-in. And it's a set of around 13 different questions 
about what made you feel loved, what made you angry, what can I do to make you feel more supported. And to do this, we actually need to schedule it in and we need to have the discipline to prepare and go through all of these questions. It takes around one hour. And for me, it is quite difficult, but I know that it helps our relationship from a long run. All right. So those were examples of how I apply the discipline equals freedom principle in my daily life. I know that when I first read this quote, I was a little bit confused about how I should actually apply it and I couldn't find any real examples. So I hope that if you were in this situation, this video helped. If it did, please subscribe to this channel. I post about discipline and mindset and all these kind of things every Friday. And if you'd like to take your discipline to the next level, please consider joining our free Facebook group called Discipline Builders Community, where I go in depth on topics related to discipline. You know, there are life training, some weekly challenges and so on. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you next time.